I'm puking rainbows, man. I feel yeah. so good. I'm puking <laughs> rainbows. <laughs> Are we on? What's up? Uh, Can't do anything until we get some lights. But I did not nice. kill the deputy. All right. Well, unruly as it may seem and um, unscheduled, perhaps, here we are live. Welcome to the show. It must be Wednesday someday. Some week, some place. <laughs> Not some place. We're from under the seed desk. Or above it. Or above the seed desk, depending, depending on, on your that. up, down kind of thing. Yeah. On Glass half view, full kind of attitude. Jump around. Jump around. <laughs> jump up, jump up, and get down. Yep. Jump, jump. jump. Yep. So today our music musical stylings will be coming from Al the Alchemist. What? What what's coming? What what what? Say what? Say what? Say what? <laughs> what what? Everybody say. Huh. Can I get a chat, please? And I can't a, see the chat. I want to see you guys. I want to see the chat you? too. <laughs> and of course, uh, Mr. harmonizing. Mr. Fellow is in the house. In between hola. is Kush Queen. Hola hola. <laughs> hey. Back from um, conquering lands. Yes. Far off, mm -hmm. I think. Mm hmm. A lot of land conquering has been going on all summer. It was hot and dry. People didn't expect to be conquered, so the queen was out there. I was out there conquering. conquering. Mm, I conquered your ass. Just which kidding. new <laughs> lands? Which new lands have you acquired to the collection of the uh, of the the, the I, castle I can, I in cannot, Scotland? I cannot. I cannot. No, you come on. With you on the show. Come on. You, you can tell us. You can tell us. You can tell us. It's hush lands. <laughs> hush lands. The hush Is lands. Parts of Slovenia. <laughs> <laughs> the Urals. <laughs> I don't even know where that is. <laughs> it's in Slovenia. Like the answer Just for a kidding. conqueror. <laughs> the Urals are on. Uh, what do you mean? Wrist that is on the wrist board. And um, we've got uh, camera two in the house today. It was late. It was late getting here, but uh, it's arrived. And uh, Jeremiah's on it. Also what? He's here. And Jer. Per potentially parts of Carly. I don't know if she can be seen or not, yes. but. <laughs> Her, oh, 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 oh. So she's completely in the shot, is what you meant. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm um, thrilled to be Sorry, here. Bad of course, I'm your host, Big nice Daddy Pot. Big Daddy Pot. I don't know. I was trying out other ones too today, like, uh, you know. Big Brother Pot. I thought, no, I don't like that. That seems <laughs> rather seem like invasive. Or, uh, <laughs> but, you know, Second Cousin Pot. Big Sounds Second creepy, Cousin. Actually. Yeah. Second Cousin can be a little creepy. <laughs> yeah. So, gonna, gonna <laughs> I, was try, I was trying some things on. I tried on some, uh, some, some low... Some low self-esteem, and I looked really fat in it. <laughs> some loafers. Oh, I, thought, you, you I yeah. looked really fat yeah. in it. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I then I then went to a different section of the department store and I tried on some high self-esteem and I, I really I, I, I looked very. Is this where you got this from? Yeah, yeah. You fucking look amazing. Yeah, thank you. It looks great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop there. Yep. Yeah. Well, I went to the <laughs> women's section, right? So. Does this low self-esteem make me look fat? It yeah, for 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 me it did. It it really did. It made me look very fat. <laughs> yeah. Loafers too. Yeah. They all make you look fat. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm fresh upstairs from the, the seed desk, which is downstairs on the main floor, being banned, manned by Dylan at the moment. Thank him for coming down and uh, let me go. But um, do come down and visit us. We're in Mark Emery's wow. Cannabis Culture Headquarters, right in the back of the store, smoking weed and selling seeds. So come on yeah. down seven days a week. We're there. Thanks to everybody joining in the chat today. Got a few uh, 
long time chat participants in the house. Uh, some uh, Green Supreme. Some OG chatters. Always good to see you. 28 dabs later. Doob. Hi. Canadian Giant. Server problem. Everybody's on now, looks like. Hey, Dabs, how's your sublimator? Big Dabby Pot. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's what? that live resin screaming. Screaming. Yeah, we got live resin in the house. It's fucking being unruly. Hey, be kind to resin. So. Just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm all for ethical, ethical resin smoking. <laughs> Yes, ethical resin smoking all, always, all day. I use only disposable toques. Yeah. Made from only the most natural products. Um, yep, smoking some um, Congo today, but here I got another treat to show you. An interesting little thing. A guy came in today. What's he got? A guy. Oh, that's so cute. He lives on uh, Texada. Island, and this is this year's crop. Whoa, that's the outdoor this year? <coughs> Greenhouse. Yeah, well, I was gonna oh, say that's so looking nice. pretty full for outdoor. Holy shit. His grandfather's greenhouse. Who grandpa said, Greenhouse. And he said that Grandpa has lived on Texada a very long time and claims to be involved with the origins of the time warp. Now, I don't know. His well, this is a damn fucking fine sample. Betty Page times, I don't know what, something it was called, uh, Milani. Never heard of Milani. Manali? M Manali. Yeah, Betty Page times Manali this is. Really, eh? Apparently. Their new crop this year. So, first wow. piece of outdoor weed. Manali or is what, South India? Yeah, I don't know about that. Like how that it's from India for sure, Manali. So I don't know, maybe I'll try and get it up here on the uh, camera for you. This is amazing. I don't want to We do have a bud cam, but I'm not too sure it's going to last that long. It's true. Um, yeah, uh, the end of the season here in Vancouver. People will be harvesting uh, quite a bit now. The weather's changed. See, if you get my phone in the shot, then you'd have the show on the show. And I'm not too sure the that we could. Wow. I don't think we could handle that. Because today, I found a new study suggests that studies that suggest things are more of a suggestion than a study. I fucking read that somewhere. Hey? It's, a, it's all over the news. It's all over the news. <laughs> Everyone picked up the story. So the title, the title of today's show is uh, Legalize Marijuana. We'll pay for everything. <laughs> sure, why not? How hey? could you turn us down? How could you turn us down? We're pre prepared, We're prepared to pay to for pay it for all. Everything. Now, what else happened here today? I think if if they let people grow as much weed yeah. as they as they wanted, and um, and sell as much weed as they wanted, as long as they promise to pay the salary of a teacher. With with uh, some of their proceeds, I think that'd be fair. Yeah. In or 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 or, uh, or a nurse, um, or um, teachers' aide, community or center, uh, stuff like that. Maybe just a random kid at McDonald's. No, 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 no. They no? don't get they don't get supplemented salaries. <laughs> okay. No. Well. Here's a here's a thing. Well, they think about the children. The educators and the caregivers, Have man. You seen that commercial? That's who we got. That's who we got to take care of. Yeah. Here, here's the thing about taxes. Now, when it comes to marijuana out there in the world, people are are certainly viewing it as a tax revenue making thing, right? So, and of course, Colorado today, in fact, in Colorado, it's tax free day. 
they've taken the tax off the marijuana just for today. So today, all weed you buy in Colorado is straight for profit. Yep. Not it's straight for profit. Straight for profit. <laughs> so yeah. they're giving they're giving the owner and the owner operators one day to just rake in as much profit much as they dough can as they can to kick down. And so here's it's how they profit wrote. Day. Profit day. Profit day in Colorado. Yay. Here's how they wrote up the story too: is that Colorado was fixing to lose three to four million dollars today. No, they're not losing it. Those <laughs> no. guys collectively are going to make three to four million dollars that they don't got. No, but I mean the, the government. Right. Yeah, the government will, but that's all but right. But that's not even losing. They haven't lost a dime since the inception of legal marijuana. They've only made money. Yeah. Right? Made more and more and more and more. And now they're writing it up going, oh, they're going to lose $3 million. <laughs> no, they're just not going to make as tremendous amount <laughs> as they're making in one day. But... Uh, so, yeah, they're, they're, they don't know what to do with all wait, the wait, cash. Wait, wait, wait. Something's not right here. So they're saying <laughs> they're, they're raking Something's in. Something's not well, right. Well, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay. In one day, they're going to lose 3 to $4 million hey, in taxes. Hey, wait a taxes. second. Nothing's right here. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So they're suggesting that they make 90 to $120 million a month in taxes? Something like that. Do the math, yeah. Do Come the on. Math. Yeah, I know, but but if, if if we look at yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I uh, if I buy that. That is a lot, though. I agree with you, Al. That seems That's like a lot said. of damn money. Yeah, I double checked the story too, and I thought about it as well. But hey, I'm not making this shit up. Eh? I'm just reading. It. <laughs> but I'm right. sure we exactly. can find. I'm sure we can find find past information uh, as to how much they've earned. You know, last yeah. year in 12 months. And On last week's down. show. You remember last week's show. No, I, no, I, I actually I, don't. I went, we do all those, last week? I went into all those numbers last Come week. Come on, how much was it? Remember, I gave you that T-shirt with all the numbers written Fuck on no. it. Fuck <laughs> no. Uh, don't you remember oh when we tattooed God, the dude. numbers on your back, Al? I thought that was a score sheet. I burnt it. Ah, well. How many times, <laughs> how many times did you burn it, though? If you burned it enough times, then that would be... <laughs> So, here's the thing about taxes in our world. Alcohol, for an example, costs Canadians in damages $14 billion. We get $6 billion back in taxes. Oops, $8 billion on the hook. Tobacco costs a Canadian $17 billion. We get back $6 billion. Oops, another <laughs> nine. Oops. Oops. 17 billion we're already on the hook for. So then I took a look into the gasoline and car <coughs> damage in the world and how we recoup our losses from that. Holy fuck. We get 21 billion dollars in tax revenue from gasoline. <laughs> 21 billion dollars a year we get. Now, the cost of 600,000 car crashes that happened in 2004, the cost of Canadians was $63 billion. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We're already $40 billion in the hole just from the number of car accidents there are in Canada every year. We don't that recoup anything. No, heavens no. But you know what? So it, just, it just means it comes from the taxpayer in the end. Somebody calculated the cost of congestion, traffic congestion, to be $6 billion a year lost wages, people's time, pollution, all this stuff, right? And here's uh, the kicker. Vix is working on, uh, on, a, on a spray for that. <laughs> yeah, get a Febreze <laughs> spray for, for that, eh? Congestion? For no lost time. So Vicks, uh, Vicks, uh, Just get to the congestion, spray. start spraying it. Yeah. <laughs> they need the halls of mental <laughs> loosens up, Loosens up the, the mucus get of traffic. To what? <laughs> yeah, get the Febreze What's that? decongestion Just spray. <laughs> The new decongestion spray. <laughs> so it says start riding horses. Here's another interesting thing. This doesn't include the cost of roads, the, all the pollution, Over the property here. destruction, <laughs> all this other shit. But at the same time, federal and provincial subsidies to the big automakers is one and a half billion dollars. They give us they give a subsidy of a billion and a half of our taxpayers' like dollars. Not anymore. That's not a big enough number. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's got to be trillions. Like so billion trillions. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> really? really? One billion? <laughs> that's it? Wow. <laughs> so wait, let's get this straight then. 
they tax the people Happy for 420. cars. Happy 420. Happy 420. 420. 420. People 420. get taxed it's every which way, whether it's through <laughs> the taxpayer picking up the tab for all those costs, or whether it's the taxpayers who drive the cars paying the taxes Columbia. for the gas, for the cars, and all those things. The companies who make the cars don't pay any taxes. In fact, as you're saying, they get handed a big paycheck with more of our tax money in it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and... One of the main reasons why manufacturing in Canada is only cars. Because uh, they were getting all the subsidies to survive and all this other bullshit, right? It's crazy not to suggest that uh, there shouldn't be cars or alcohol or tobacco, but let's face it, they're not even coming close to covering their own ass. So... I'm not too sure that I want to leap right ahead to make sure that marijuana starts covering their ass, right? The government has plenty of money to pay for everything, everything. They just (coughs) fucking waste it. (coughs) They spend it on things that, uh, oh, like bombing Iraq and Syria that's going to cost a half a billion dollars. They've already told us that. You go, really? What if you win the war tomorrow? (laughs) Those things are just <laughs> excuses to hand our right. money to rich people. <laughs> L- look into some of the numbers um, with uh, wasted grains that are that are set for donations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's like some major tonnage every year of grain that they have to throw out because it's it's rotten and they didn't send it and oh in time right yeah yeah and they're going through the bureaucracy of getting it into the country and yes, all kinds of bullshit. That. So there's Man, like so much they're, they're, they're throwing away Canadian food by the fucking ton. And what's you know, worse is they're collecting it with the. People start screaming about that. Yeah, and they're saying they're going to be giving it to a good cause, but then they leave it laying around, so it rots. Yep. Oh, like a tremendous amount of government waste. So when they're yakking about, even in the election here, when they come out and they go, "Oh, we got a balanced budget or we got a deficit," you're fucking right. You got a deficit. We have a national debt of countless trillions of dollars right where's the money are they including the money that they're going to spend on fighting isis what 122 million dollars right there no they don't even include this they don't include anything these men can't balance the fucking budget and then we shouldn't even be yakking about it they're distracting us from the real fucking issues here by talking about the budget and the budget, you know what that really is? It's the government borrowing money from the bank, which is those same <laughs> rich folk. So they, those, these rich guys steal all of our money in these multiple ways. The government <laughs> hands all our cash over to them. And then our airbags. Yeah. <laughs> Dodge oh. our airbags. Ah, that's hilarious. So I learned a lot of the stuff that I found on this new gizmo I got from my phone called Cra. What's it called? Cra- it's the crap. Cra. Cra- ah. Crap. <laughs> crap. It's the crap. So it's an app for all the crap. Yeah. All your fucking shit. Organize your apps <laughs> with crap. It's an app yeah. organizer. You might have heard. Oh, here's a, here's the thing too. I ran into it in Forbes magazine, which is the big financial pages, as you know, of course. Oh, yes, since, of course. <laughs> since yes, you Columbia. probably mm-hmm. own for. <laughs> Forbes magazine. It was called The Trouble with Marijuana Taxation. <laughs> now, the guy who wrote this, he fucking hates marijuana. He, he says, I believe that all states will legalize marijuana in the next five years. There will be several proposals this year to legalize the stuff that made Cheech and Chong famous. <laughs> right? Most of them use the guise of medical necessity to allow their citizens to get high. Hmm. Alaska, Oregon, Colorado, make no pretense. If you want to smoke a joint there, knock yourself out, Kush Queen. All righty then. Arizona will probably legalize in 2016. (laughs) Everyone, (laughs) people can listen to Bob Marley and wander glassy-eyed around (laughs) in the desert. While local schools receive badly needed money without having to raise taxes. Mm. Purveyors of snack foods will reap windfalls as hungry potheads flood, <laughs> flood the convenience store. <coughs> and then he Ain't says... Ain't that the truth, though? 
And then he goes on to say marijuana should be legalized, and he goes down all the real perfect reasons why we think marijuana should be legalized. He goes down and says that that should happen, but he has a problem because he hates marijuana, that he doesn't want the taxes from it going to schools. There's right. a moral issue involved. Right. A moral issue. Okay. Right. I see, I see. So he's saying that a teacher might want <laughs> everybody to smoke more marijuana so he can get a raise. <laughs> right? This is a weird fucking Well, see, somebody should explain it to him another way. Thinking, in, in, eh? in like a more diabolical kind of way. Yeah. It's like, look, we're money people. Yeah. Teachers smoke weed. <laughs> we pay teachers. We get a portion of their salary back because of their drug habits. That's the way they should explain it to that guy. Well. And then he would understand. It would be all good. See, it's all in the... It would be just know. the same kind of like... It's the in same the, thing, In the way right? that they, they're trying to legalize marijuana like alcohol, but I don't think they'd have Budweiser uh, supporting the public schools. <laughs> no, no. To the high schools soon, probably. <laughs> the colleges for sure. But Available in every, every high school cafeteria. <laughs> yeah. You can a walk bud, Starbucks. A bud with your pizza drunk, pot. So. <laughs> Now, he says, uh, he says at the end, so I'm torn. I don't care what you smoke. I just hate the fact that we are going to ask those of you who do to pay for essential services received by all. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. So it kind of left me torn too. On one hand, I agree with his tax logic. On the other hand, I want to hit him with a two by four. <laughs> I'm kind of so, split on this as well. Yeah, I'm On torn. one hand, I'm indifferent, and on the other hand, I don't really care. That's huh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> That's Weird, usually though. what I say when I don't understand something, for sure. So, so many questions. Uh, city of Vancouver fired Penny Ballum, the city manager. Fired who? Penny. Penny who? Penny Ballum. Oh, I thought you said Penny Bong. City manager. Didn't she get let go? Fired. <laughs> yeah. The no, they didn't want to use Hunted that her. word. Oh, yeah. Though. Fired he in the headline. He used to use that word. He let, used let go. <laughs> no, they got Sadu Johnson now. The assistant city manager is now the acting city manager. And, and Gregor Robertson saying that he's going to do a comprehensive global search to find a new city manager. He wants to find a city manager of Vancouver from somewhere not Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, hmm. weird. He wants to do a global search for a city manager. What the fuck is that all about? And I don't think we should pay for that. I don't think city managers should be paid if they're coming from fucking somewhere else in the world. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, Sadu. He came from Chicago. Yeah. Penny ball. Him. Done. She threw herself she, in front of a bus. She also was given a half a million fucking dollars to get out. They said, get out. Here's a half a million bucks. $500,000 severance pay. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. This woman. Fuck. That's crazy. Fucking yeah. joke. If you're dissatisfied with somebody's job that they're doing <laughs> and they're working for the taxpayer I don't think you get a severance pay you do a good job <laughs> right if you're wrongly dismissed if you're not if you're doing a great job and everyone loves you and they still fire you you should get something but I don't know it's fucking sad now we'll see <coughs> we'll see if uh, I don't know there's lots of yak in here in the city all the dispensaries receive some sort of uh, nefarious letter from from somebody, essentially from Health Canada, yeah. telling them to cease and desist, or the RCMP were going to come in and get them. But I'm not too sure that I think that's going to happen. In fact, the Vancouver Police Department said, mm, "Doubt it. Don't think they're going to fucking pay this extra dough to come and do this on our turf." So. I think it's just Health Canada rattling their chains as they go gurgling into the fucking depths of doom. I saw a picture of Rona Ambrose <laughs> in her riding. 
She was the only one in the picture. She was standing in a fucking wheat field alone. Yeah. Just alone. And you go, <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. I, I just can't see her even getting reelected. Like, really, unless there's only like three people in the riding. <laughs> hey? And two of them don't show up. <laughs> no, it's all fucking nonsense. They got them running <laughs> neck and neck in the polls in the news, right? Which is horse shit. Polls. They're fucking uh, so suspect. And I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters to phone a thousand Canadians today and ask them how they're going to vote. Fuck off. It's not the time to vote. What are you going to have for dinner a week from Thursday? And they wouldn't fucking know. Right? But today, I'm going to vote for Tom Mulcair is just like fucking Stephen Harper. Frightening old fart. All he's got is $15 a day daycare. That's it. That's all. It's the only program that he wants to yak about. And that's because he comes from a family of 10 kids. They all sat around and sang about daycare. Every day in his family, probably. Oh, we wish we had daycare. <laughs> we should go to daycare. And this is, nah, it's fucking silly nonsense. I'm still going to vote liberal because they still say they're going to legalize marijuana. And I don't give a fuck about anything else. I saw two people in the store the other day talking politics. These two guys, like, I don't know, they're like hillbillies or something. But, well, he says, I don't think, I don't like, Trudeau's ideas on the infrastructure. <laughs> and what he said about the infrastructure. <laughs> just regurgitating the, t the TV ads. Oh my God, just picking words out of the fucking news eh, to say <laughs> back to somebody. They have no fucking clue. I don't think anybody does. But uh, I, I don't like to talk politics. Me I see that you're well, well it's like um, <laughs> politics. <laughs> it's insanity at its at its best. Mm -hmm. Insanity is to repeat the same the same you know task. You know, over with and over and over yeah, and over yeah, and with over and over and over and over and over and expecting different with, with results. This, with this neg yeah, expecting different results. Well, politics. Since its uh, since its inception has been a failed attempt at ruling, it's yeah. not the way you rule people with a political structure. It's and you, very you, you, you let you let people govern themselves in small communal pods, and that's what that's what humans are meant to meant to do. Politics, man, it's like there hasn't been um, a perfect system. Otherwise, we would be living in a utopian society by now. There would be a perfect thing that would have evolved in these thousands of years of, of political rule. And there hasn't been. There's been no utopian society that has evolved. No. Nope. It's a failed attempt. Let's fucking abandon polit uh, politics. It's bullshit, really. Yes, mm -hmm. really. We don't need them. We, the, they, don't ever, they don't fix the roads. They get uh, companies that fix the roads to do that. <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. I mean, what happens when <laughs> your driveway breaks down? Gets all <laughs> fucked up. You fix it. Hey, so I'm sure it's like if a patch of road in front of somebody's somebody's house was fucked up and we didn't have this bullshit, you know, system that we have to follow, I'm sure the citizens would just get together and fix the fucking road. Okay, now I lost. Yeah, we hardly need them at all. Now here, here's a headline. How legalizing marijuana could help California address drought. 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 Yes, marijuana can help with the drought in California. Well, I don't know about that. No, no, no. Listen. Producing marijuana involves substantial amounts of water. Though there's some debate as to the exact amount of water marijuana <laughs> plants use, one study estimates that they require about six gallons per plant per day. No. Depends how big the plant is. How big of a root mass are you talking about? What are the variables? What's the room temperature? What's the humidity? There's so much they don't know about cannabis. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I think they're talking outdoor, too. <laughs> okay, what's the... Six gallons per plant what's per day? The Not a fucking then, chance. Yes, you know? They don't need that much water at all. <laughs> Depends. Now, if, you, if this plant's grown in Afghanistan, after June, 
it, the the I'll find out exactly what the numbers are. The I'll seed, let you know, the I'll let seed, you know in, uh, in a month. The seed germinates in springtime in Afghanistan. Sends a taproot down really fast <laughs> looking for water. Finds it. And then it doesn't get any more water from any other source in the rest of its life. There's no rain, there's no dew, there's no nothing, right? It, that's the only, it, you think it's getting six fucking gallons a day out of there? I doubt it. Why would it even need to? You can grow big plants indoor and nobody's hauling six <laughs> gallons of water and putting it in the pot every day. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> really. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, but six gallons is almost twice as much as as the wine grape. Eh? The wine grape, it could never help s address drought. Right? What they should do is address drought, you know, send it to fucking Iowa. You could put a different address on it. <laughs> oh, no, not living here anymore. Drought's moved, man. <laughs> yeah, drought's drought. moved. Actually, drought couldn't pay the bills. We had to evict them. Yeah. If it's going to do that, then whatever. Let's just smile and nod. <laughs> no, here's, how, here's what they're saying is that by legalizing <laughs> marijuana that they can control it and that you can't have any water. Right? That's what they're saying. Hmm. Fucking assholes. Right? Yeah. Water stolen from farmers. Whose water use is regulated by the state? Oh my God. Really? Like the? I guess the, I guess California is in big trouble with water, but that's the backlash, right, against marijuana, and that won't help. Legalizing marijuana is not going to help. It doesn't. It'd be better to use the water for what they would grow than most of the shit that you're using it for now, anyway. Don't give it to oh industry anymore that creates pollutants with the water that they get. Don't fucking give it to. There's lots of things that don't shouldn't get any water. Well, look at you. Double down. Double, Double down. down. <laughs> yeah, here's a funny little thing. Police eradicate 12 marijuana fields in North Halton. I don't know where that is, but Constable Wright oh. reported Constable that a Wright. dozen pot fields hidden in Milton and the <coughs> Halton Hills north and south of Steeles Avenue were cleaned out this morning. 600 plants were found. This had, and this is the way they wrote it. 600 plants were found. This amounts to a street value of up to $1 million if sold by the gram as opposed to by the pound. Which would have fetched half that. <laughs> That's what they wrote. They actually wrote that. Yeah. So, so I th kind of thought about it a little bit. You know, that that's probably like ten bucks a gram. So that's well, that's a hundred thousand grams. All right. That is. So, like, he'll need a bit of a crew to fucking move the hundred thousand grams here by the gram. To get your million dollars, well, I think, uh, <laughs> right? I, I think a football game. <laughs> One a football couple game. A couple football games, maybe, would be a good place to move a hundred thousand. <laughs> move a hundred thousand grams. With the hot dogs and the beers. <laughs> and, and the peanuts you just yeah. throw it with a yeah. gram, like yeah, yeah, to yeah, it. You know. Here you go. Just yeah. <laughs> great. Now this. Now I'm just imagining that. That'd Got a feeling great. they're going to sell it by the pound. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to no, getting no. six kids on bikes <laughs> to go out in and around Milton. Hey, <laughs> man, it's only, nice hey, man, it's only 10,000 <laughs> gram de dealers with, uh, you know, 100 grams each. It's 100,000 grams. Yeah, 10,000 gram dealers. With, uh, now, the discovery of the fields was a combination of tips. 10 grams each? From the public. Combination of tips from the public. So the first guy said, you know, I saw a car. Phoned the police, I saw a car. And then somebody else phoned in and said, you know, I saw a car. I thought it was suspicious. <laughs> right? So they were going to add to it. It's a combination of tips coming in. Yeah, <coughs> I saw this car. It was suspicious to me too. And it turned left. 
on fucking Steele's Avenue. So the c- police who added up combination of tips led them to this marijuana plant. I don't know. Something fishy <laughs> with that story. <laughs> it's sad, eh? The cops, they're out there in fucking droves right now and hacking down millions of marijuana plants because it's the season and you can see them from the air and they're easy to find. And they're wasting everybody's money. They're proudly telling you how much money they just threw down the drain. Should have mailed it to Colorado, for fuck's sakes. They need the weed. <coughs> and that's going to be happening, the, they, too. They need the tax money. They do need today, they're going to lose like three or four mil. Oh, yeah. So today, up in smoke. They're losing money today That's in Colorado. Marijuana's made Colorado lose money. That's the weed tax that we have now. Prohibition is the weed tax where yeah. all, they just send those guys out there. They have to give these guys a job. So the tax is giving these guys a job. Send them out there. Pay them a paycheck to go destroy the weed. Yeah. That's really and the tax. Pro- and then proudly tell you how much money they just threw away. Yeah. A million dollars could have gone into the economy there if that was the case. And given that it was legal, a uh, fair tax from it. Huh. Instead, of hiring, instead of hiring idiots to go out there and burn it, burn all the stuff, we should hire those guys to like package it up and what's, what's the trim tax it down. In, uh, what's the tax in Colorado? 25, I think, or 20. Yeah, that's like 250 grand in, in tax money. They just like... And whatever you would have saved not having Constable Wright. Who apparently was wrong. Yeah, several thousand other cops probably walking around out there. No, no, it's such nonsense. But here's another story out of Canada, too. Out of Kijiji pulls a special brownies ad over marijuana concerns. Online seller Kijiji, what does it say? Has pulled a Saskatchewan ad for special brownies after getting <laughs> emails from website users. Accompanying the ad were users. accompanying the ad were two oh. photos of brownies, including one with a marijuana leaf on top of the baked goods. It was an interesting ad, but clearly something that doesn't belong on Ki- Kijiji. The their community manager told CBC. Uh, let's see. But you can find women to fuck. They That's okay. But you can't sell I fucking wish. brownies. I That's wish. I wish. Ridiculous. No, it can't sell brownies. Not on Kijiji. That's just. So, oh my god! People make me so angry. She said, "This was sh- oh no, he Sean." said, we don't even allow for perishable goods to be sold on the website. The implication it was something else, like marijuana-related products, we took it down based on that suspicion. 